Hi, today's date is March 24th, 2021. For today's video source inspection, we are filming a fully refurbished 270 F model spin rinser dryer. All right, before we get started, let's go ahead and open the chamber. We have nitrogen purging into the bowl and a full boat of wafers. We are going to film a full recipe to show the functionality of the tool and I'm going to go over our refurbishment process, our spare parts and service support, as well as equipment we can provide at SciTech. So, let's get started. All right, so we are going to be doing a 60 second rinse followed by a 10 second purge before uh, we slow things down and uh, well, excuse me, we, we go a, a speed, up in speed for our dry one, and then we follow that with a slow and low RPM dry two for 210 seconds. Okay, SRD is running nice and smooth. Every SRD that comes into SciTech for refurbishment goes through the same extensive refurbishment process. First, we take the tool and break it down to the component level. From there, we chemically clean and electro polish all metal parts as well as individually test each part for function. Okay, about 10 seconds left. There's gonna be less and less water as we go through the recipe. It's kind of water falling down. Once the purge begins, it's going to start spinning. So as you see, the pattern has now changed. And we're now swirling. Back to our refreshment process. Once all parts are prepped, and that's when we start building SRD head assemblies from the ground level up. Once the bare head assembly is completely built up, it's placed into our dry QC checkpoint. This is where we test and inspect the SRD for full function without facilities installed. Once it goes through our dry QC checkpoint successfully, it is placed into our wet QC checkpoint. This is where we test and inspect the SRD for full function with facilities installed. Lastly, the SRD is placed into our final configuration, final test, which you see before you today. In final test, we'll do over 50 various process runs at different RPMs and times, which we call burn-in testing. This is how we ensure that the SRD is ready for plug and play installation into our customer's fab. Lastly, we'll film a video source inspection, which some customers will uh, uh, approve the tool before we ship it. Uh, not all customers require this, um, but you are able to see the tool run before we create and ship it back to your site. Okay, so we are about to slow down to our dry two. Right now we're at 1800 RPMs. And as you can see, substantially less water on the windows. So we have about three and a half minutes left of our recipe. Let's talk about spare parts. SciTech is a worldwide leader in SRD spare parts and service. We can uh, provide all the parts as well as repair all the major components. Components that we can repair and provide on the, the, the bigger part scale would be uh, controllers such as uh, 228, 328, 101, and 102. Motors, which include the brush and brushless types. We rebalance rotors. And for S models, which this, this tool is an F model, so it doesn't have this part, we repair servo amps. The parts I just listed that we repair, we can also provide in new or refurbished condition. Please give us a call at 916-797-9000, and uh, we'll get you together with the correct sales rep to help you get the parts you need. Other parts we provide include solenoid valves, ACR valves, windows, door seals, door switches, N2 filters, heater blankets, um, N2 heaters, anti-static modules, tachometers, as well as the rotor stop positioner, and any other part you need on the spin rinser dryer, pressure switches, grommets, you name it, we can provide it. 100% spare parts and service is 100% spare parts and service. Okay, we're running smooth, and you can barely even see maybe 10 drops of water on the window. They're much smaller. We have about two minutes left in this process. 
If you're not sure of a part number, you could always go to our website, www.scitechprocess.com, and search pressure switch. There's two different sensors, for example, one's an 8 PSI and one's a 20 PSI. If you go to our website uh, and search pressure, you will be able to find the pressure switches, see a photo, as well as the part number. So you can either call a sales rep for an RFQ or send it through the website, or you can email us direct. Our email address is sales at scitechprocess.com. So now that we've gone over our spare parts and service support, as well as our refurbishment process, let's talk about equipment. Equipment that we can provide includes new and refurbished semi-tool style spin rinse or dryers. We can provide uh, Vertec SRDs. We are actually the OEM for Vertec SRDs. We purchased the product line from Martech. So if you need Vertec spare parts, we can also help you there. We provide uh, box washers, including the HTC 8010, 8020, and 8030. Mask cleaners, including the K&S and Ultra-T models. Uh, metrology tools, including profilometers, ellipsometers, resistivity, and more. We are able to provide barrel ashers and etchers, YES ovens, as well as a variety of microscopes, too. Uh, we're able to help in many areas of the front end wafer fab. All right, nice and smooth. Less than 30 seconds left. I can't even, I can see maybe a tiny drop of water on the window. Uh, feel the heat from both our heaters really doing the work as we slow the RPMs down for this part of the cycle and really dry the wafers. We don't want to open the door too early as you can cause uh, damage to the SRD. So when the, when the clock strikes zero, we need to make sure that the RSP fires the rotor into the 12 o'clock position and that the door seal deflates and releases all air, which you should be able to hear in the video. So once we get to 75 RPMs, this will fire the RSP. There's the RSP. And the door seal has released the air. So let's see how we did. We have warm N2 purging into the bowl. Residual droplets of water in the bowl is a good thing. You don't want your bowl to be bone dry. Especially when you don't use anti-static. This customer doesn't use anti-static, so uh, you want to have a little bit of water. And on the wafers and cassette, we are completely dry. So, this was a successful process run of our customer's 270F model spin rinser dryer. We thank you for watching today's video source inspection. We'll see you next time.